Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm one of the technical assistants at Stills. And I'm going to take you on a little tour of the building for Doors Open Day. Here we are at Stills on Colburn Street. Uh, we've been in this building since the early 90s, but Stills as an organisation has been around for more than 40 years as a champion of photography in Scotland. Let's go inside. So we come into the front desk, you can see some of the changes that we've made in line with COVID guidelines. There's hand sanitizer throughout. We ask that visitors wear a face mask. Hi Josh, as our staff will be. And be careful of social distancing throughout the gallery. As you come into the front desk, we've got our assistant Josh, who can help with any inquiries that you have. Uh, we've also got a shop with some film and supplies up here um, and as well as that we've got some publications too. You can find our shop online as well if there's anything you're interested in. And as we go through into the first gallery we've got Elementary Blueprint. Uh, this exhibition started as a project before lockdown began um, and then when the UK and Scotland went into lockdown we expanded and basically we sent cyanotype paper to participants throughout Scotland and then abroad and the UK and asked them to leave it outside and collect up the elements and the weather and these are the results that we got back so the physical results we've got on the wall over 70 participants and you can see that they're labelled with their postcode. There's a map here of where all of the entries came from as well. And then as well as the physical cyanotypes, we've got a digital presentation here that Josh put together uh, of all the digital submissions. And I'd like to say thank you again to everybody who took part. It was a really great program to have, I think, during lockdown. It was a lovely thing to do. I quoted lots of the paper, so it was kept me busy at home. Now if we come downstairs into our next exhibition, which is the Stills Academy. Uh, the Stills School is a free school for young people between the ages 16 and 25 who face barriers to engaging with the arts. Um, this group is from our academy, second stage of the school, and they completed all of this work during lockdown with uh, online tutorials and support. Um, from Stills and our tutors. I think they did an amazing job, as you can see from all the work. Uh, the next intake for the school is in October. If you think you know anyone who would be interested or uh, would like to be involved, then you can have a look on our website and see how to apply. Here comes Martin, one of our volunteers. And that's it for the galleries. Now I'll take you downstairs to the production facilities. The production facilities are under our galleries and um, we've made a few changes as well as upstairs down here for um, COVID guidelines. So again, we've got sanitizers throughout. We ask users to wear face masks and uh, remain socially distanced. All the stations are cleaned in between users as well and also the dark rooms to keep everyone safe. So down in our DigiLab digital suite here, we've got IMAX available for users. Uh, they run the full Adobe Creative Suite. They're great for editing and working on video, things like that. We've got good screens for it. Then in the corner, we've got a large format printer, the Epson P7000. And uh, we've got some lovely hand molded papers for that, or you can bring your own um, to use that one. The exhibition upstairs, the school exhibition, was all printed on this printer. You get great results. Then over here, we've got the star of the show the Hasselblad negative scanner this is one of our most popular uh, items. You can get some really great quality scans from all of your film on this scanner and you can spend all day doing it as well. The flatbed then over here is great for if you've got a load of films or slides in particular to get through, um, you can throw them through this, uh, it's really handy. Also you can scan documents and prints, things like that, up to A3 on this one. So that's it for our digital suite. Next, I will take you into the dark rooms. 
Uh, our dark rooms, again, to make things a bit safer, we ask, we're asking users to grab their things from here. Uh, so that's your lenses, negative priors, contact printers, film processing, supplies, um, and then take it into the room with them. At the end of the day, everything that's in the room gets sanitised and cleaned and then put back out here to keep everyone safe. So once you've grabbed all your stuff, you head in here to the dark room. That are not very dark just now. So we've got four private dark rooms that are available and in here you should have everything you need for a good printing session or film process. You've got your enlarger, an easel, uh, chemistry we use Ilford for black and white chemistry, um, ID11 is our film processor uh, so you can shut up in here and work away between 12 and 5 on our dark room days as well as private dark rooms, then we also have the communal room, which was previously used for courses. Uh, now, to make our courses more safe and socially distanced, the private dark rooms will be used with the tutor staying outside of them. Uh, so the in here is available as well for single users. It's got everything you need. Then into our film process room, another popular one especially at the minute, everyone's catching up on their film. We've got facilities for black and white film process and also colour. You can see our little Jobo machine here. Uh, colour film processing is a lot more sensitive to temperature. So this machine just provides a water bath to keep the chemistry uh, at the right temperature and make sure you get good results. And this is available to book in here to work away. Then another highlight of our dark room we have the only colour printing facilities publicly accessible in Scotland. So this is our dry to dry print machine. And this means that we can offer a colour darkroom. So in the private darkrooms, you can um, expose and print your colour film uh, and paper and then bring it in here and you just pop the paper in and it comes out done. We manage all the chemistry in the machine and it's a bit of a temperamental one, but we love her anyway, and uh, she does a really good job. It's really good to have access to as well, as I say, outside of universities, there isn't really anywhere else that you can go for that in Scotland. It gives you great control over your colour images. And then I think that's it for our dark rooms. If you're interested in any of these, they are available only to existing users at the minute, uh, but we do have courses that we're running in-house uh, as well as online that feature darkroom, um, black and white and darkroom courses. That covers everything for the tour of the building and the facilities. I hope you enjoyed it and it was uh, interesting, showed you something that you maybe didn't see before. If you're interested in any of our courses you can have a look on our website. If you want to learn more um, or have a look at the shop as well, you can have a look at the website and see everything that's coming up. Um, and until then, if you want to stop by and say a socially distanced hi upstairs, we'll see you soon.